Well, we addressed it once already and we saw a lot of contention out there. So let's dig a little bit deeper into this thing. We're talking yellow lenses for nighttime driving, friends. Hello and welcome on my glass, Tyler. Today, I'm gonna be getting back into this debate around yellow lenses for night driving. Like I said, we have done a video on this already. It was a little more kind of off the cuff. I have some more structure behind this thing this time. So hopefully you get something more out of it. There will admittedly be some repeat information, especially that overarching opinion that we have toward what it means to have yellow lenses in low light conditions. But there are some other topics that we'll be hitting on. We're gonna be looking at pros and cons so that you understand exactly what to expect from yellow lenses and what it means for your after hours commute. At the end of this, if I did a good job and you're ready to order, or you're looking to get something else, do not forget about Sporter X. And also don't forget about our See Better Guarantee because it is amazing. It gives you as long as 45 days with them, even if you get them in prescription. And then if you have issues with them, you just let us know. We take care of you no matter what that means on our end. Also, we have opticians who would love to help you get it right the first time. So reach out to us. All right, talk about this. All right, so we've all had that unpleasant experience of driving into headlights with that one car with the brightest lights in the world and how distracting that is. Or how about glare on the rear view mirror? Or maybe you just have sensitive eyes in general. So there is a lot of artificial lights at night. And one way people address that is with yellow lenses. But let's clear up some of the confusion. How do yellow lenses work? Well, any lens that has any tint is going to be absorbing some degree of light transmission. Yellow is no different. So the fact that there is a tint on the lens, the fact that it's not completely clear, means that it is going to absorb some parts of the light spectrum. That's actually where you get that difference in color perception, which gives you that misconception that yellow lenses brighten things. The reason it seems like yellow lenses are brightening things is because of that change in color perception. Things are, colors are boosted. Things look like they're more yellow, I guess. They they look like there is more contrast to them because there is. So it is not possible when you put a lens in front of your eyes to increase the amount of light making it to your eyes. And so that's why, generally speaking, I don't really push yellow tints for nighttime driving. My recommendation is always going to be a clear lens with a really good anti-reflective coating on it. Right now you might be yelling at your screen, but Tyler, I wear yellow glasses at night and I love them. We get that. Some people absolutely love their yellow glasses for nighttime driving. That was actually the reason we decided to reshoot this video because we got a lot of passionate people in our comments on that first video supporting yellow lenses, saying that they need yellow lenses. They have a much better experience with them. And honestly, that's fine. If it works for you, that's great. I just want to make sure that people who haven't tried it and just that the knowledge around it is accurate for what to expect and what the lenses that are yellow actually do. Let's start with a few arguments for yellow lenses. Well, maybe you live in a metropolitan area. Maybe you are always surrounded by a ton of light. It's really busy. There are always cars or always street lamps. There's always light and it's bothersome. So yeah, the yellow is going to soften some of that bright white light, especially headlights, especially street lights. It is going to help to minimize the amount of light making it to your eye when those are the light sources. Technically, it does enhance your contrast, so it could help you spot things like bumps or potholes or variations in the terrain. That contrast enhancement is great for that for sure, the primary concern is to make sure that when you're wearing yellow lenses, you are always in a lot of kind of excess light that you're trying to minimize because it's going to be cutting through some of that light. So these are the things to keep in mind. Yellow is going to be visually intense, whether you love it or whether you hate it. It can take a little while to get used to. It is obviously gonna change your color perception. It is obviously, like I've mentioned so many times, going to minimize the amount of light making it to your eyes. The fact of the matter, it allows less light to pass through the lens than a non-tinted clear lens. But, and here's a big one, we have no evidence that it actually works. Yes, we've gotten lots of comments, we've gotten lots of feedback from people very passionately saying that it makes their experience better, that they do a lot better thanks to a yellow tint. However, with research studies, we did find one that was focused on 
uh, improving pedestrian detection at night. And they compared yellow lenses versus clear lenses. And the end result was that there was no scientific evidence to support the claims that it is actually better with yellow versus non-yellow. So what they did in this study is they simulated oncoming headlight glare and they measured reaction times of wearing yellow versus clear lenses. What they found was that yellow lenses for nighttime driving actually did not improve at all pedestrian detection, nor did it reduce the negative effects of headlight glare or pedestrian detection performance. So ultimately, there is no real true evidence to support that yellow lenses are better than clear lenses. But hey, I mean, if you find that it works for you, go for it. Do you. We're just sharing that optical 101 so that if you can decide for yourself, you can make up your own mind based on your personal experience. But also I wanna mention that you should talk to your doctor because having issues with nighttime driving can sometimes be an indication of some eye conditions that you might want to address. I'm thinking specifically about some big ones like macular degeneration and cataracts. So do not miss that annual eye exam. I've said this before a bunch of times and in my line of work, I say it a lot, but those annual eye exams aren't just for telling you what your new prescription is. Those are usually the people who don't go to the eye doctor at all. People who feel like they can see just fine. Well, you're not getting that eye health check that you need. So definitely do that because there are some underlying conditions that can exist. You might be able to see just fine, but you have issues here or there. And so your eye doctor is going to be able to help you out with that. Don't miss that exam. So I want to end this with my recommendations. What do I recommend? Somebody calls and says, I want a good pair of nighttime driving glasses. I'm having issues, honestly, whether you need prescription or not. My first recommendation, as I've already kind of mentioned here is clear with a really good anti-reflective coating. The anti-reflective coating is going to actually help to minimize the problem of having something between your eye and the thing you're looking at. No matter what, like I said, if you put a lens in front of your eye, you're, you're going to minimize the amount of light making it to your eyes. However, that anti-reflective coating helps to minimize glare and reflections bouncing off the surface of the lens and let more of that light that you need to see actually make it to your eye. And so that is always my recommendation. If you wear a prescription, it's a really easy add-on. If you don't wear a prescription, you can still benefit with non-prescription lenses with an anti-reflective coating. So that's definitely an option for you. A noteworthy shout out. Let's talk about some lens options that are maybe a little bit of an exception to the rule, maybe not, because it is still always going to be the case that you're minimizing the amount of light making it to your eyes. But there is a new lens that actually comes out of Maui Gym that they call their high contrast lens. And it has a lens that, that has, I don't even know if it's really a tint or if it's just uh, something built into the surface. I should know more about this, but I don't, how it works at least. But it is a really interesting lens. It has a bluish hue to it and it is going to help make things a little cooler. And so that is kind of nice if you tend to prefer the light around you to be a little bit cooler. That slight blue tint does definitely help with that. I have a pair myself. I have worn them. I have noticed, uh, and I'm gonna talk about another lens actually that I'm wearing right now in just a moment. I noticed that it was less the case with the high contrast lens that I felt like it was really minimizing the amount of light to my eyes. Uh, but it is really good with boosting contrast and it is meant to be used in lower light conditions. I would still recommend that you're using this lens if you decide to check this lens out, that you're using this lens again in those areas that are more filled with a lot of light. I wouldn't really prefer to use this lens on those backcountry roads that have no street lights and have few cars because I, I think you really need to have the most amount of light making it to your eyes possible. Uh, and so this will minimize that, but it's still a really interesting, really unique lens that I would recommend you check out because it can also help with reducing some of that glare and from the headlights and streetlights. Another lens that I was saying I was gonna mention, which is what I'm wearing right now, it is out of Oakley. It's called their Prism Gaming Lens. It is designed for use for gaming, but I've been wearing these day and night and I have found that it's pretty interesting. It's more of a, a warm color experience. So the things around you are gonna be warmer because it's more of like an amber tint. Uh, but it is a very light amber tint, almost to a clear amber state, but it is a very interesting experience and something that I have found works pretty well for me at night. Also, again, only in those brighter conditions, you wanna make sure that those backcountry roads, you're wearing totally clear lenses. And again, don't forget about our opticians. Call us, 
and also check out our very easy to navigate lens configurators just so that you know that you're getting the right thing. But opticians, us on the phone, would love to help you get it right the first time. So let us help you, reach out to us. So now that you know how yellow lenses work and what to expect, it is up to you whether or not you wanna give it a shot or continue wearing them. I would be willing to bet that if you love yellow lenses, I probably haven't changed your mind. They're still gonna work just fine for you. Just do keep in mind that it is minimizing the amount of light making it to your eyes. And apparently there's not any scientific research to back up the fact that you're better off with them. Just things to be aware of. Our best recommendations from a final summarized thoughts would be opt for quality AR with a clear lens. It can be a simple way to improve your evening commute and make for a more comfortable drive with that yellow tint, but there are so many other factors to consider to just make sure that you're considering them. A bonus tip, by the way, make sure your glasses are clean. That seems like a, a kind of a no brainer, but it's something we can forget, especially if we wear glasses all day long. And also, how about that windshield? The thing you're looking through, make sure that that is totally crystal clear because that is gonna make a big difference as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like because it helps us a lot. You can find relevant videos over here and also we have great content on our social media outlets. I think you should check us out there too because I think you'll like it. You'll find us at SportRx.